and some mountain snow in that forecast and skiers rejoice. Well, this weekend you'll have a chance to see a film that celebrates the history, some of the craziest moments in the last 70 years of skiing. And I'm joined right now by Jim Ryan with Warren Miller. Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, this year's film is being released. The highlights, the incredible action. Tell me a little bit more about this year's film. Totally. Yeah, this film features a lot of archival footage, so it goes through each decade, kind of gives a synopsis of what that decade was like. Johnny Mosley narrates, um, and he talks about the mood and feeling every decade and then shows so many highlight clips. A lot of like straight skis, uh, a lot of excellent outfits, a lot of crashes. It's exciting. I was going to ask, is this like like wooden boards to now like this carbon fiber super tech that we have over the decades of skiing? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some wooden skis. There's definitely a lot of, you know, Sun Valley in the 70s, 60s. Um, honestly, my favorite segment was the 80s. A lot of mustaches, a lot of big airs. It was it was fun. The potential even for some skiing in jeans. I haven't seen the film yet. We, we will see. You'll have to go check it out yourself. Um, now, you just came back from a pretty incredible trip uh, all about skiing things, uh, you know, and accomplishing goals, first evers, all that kind of stuff. Tell me about your recent trip. Totally. I was in New Zealand for six weeks. I was on the Southern Island and uh, I was there with another professional skier, Sam Smoothie. And we were trying to be, Sam is trying to be the first skier to ski all 24 peaks over 3,000 meters on the Southern Island. And we got five of them while I was down there. And we got the first descent of the east face of Multibron. So like one of the proudest descents of my life, one of the proudest descents of Sam's life. And yeah, it was all captured via helicopter. So we, we climbed for two days and then a helicopter came in as we summited and documented the whole descent. And it was just, it was amazing. Amazing is an understatement when you see some of the clips. I mean, just we're just looking at this graphic, and yeah, that, that's the skier up there. And we'll show you some of the video from, from some of these other films uh, over the course of the years. So what is kind of the, the big takeaway, I guess, that you'd like people go see this film, walk out of the theater, what's your hope? Yeah, my hope is that they just remember why they love skiing. I mean, it's kind of a funny thing. The best skiers have the shortest memories, and we always forget, you know, why we love it so much, which is why the first days and the first films are so fun. We watch this thing, we see other people that are really excited about the thing that we're just so passionate about, and you leave the theater just really, really excited to go skiing. I know some of the films in the past have just been these, you know, crystal clear four or five K amazing runs. And we just saw some of the grainy stuff too, that people who love the sport can love both at the same time. Definitely. I mean, Warren's been documenting the, these things for 74 years. I mean, people have been skiing for a lot longer than that, but it just goes to show that the passion for skiing and you know, the culture around skiing, it's been around for a long time and it's pretty cool to see it transform. But in the end, it's all the same. People are just really excited to be out there, be in nature, go skiing. And if you want to see the evolution, the transformation or all part of this film itself, again, it's called All Time. This is the list of where it is playing the Paramount Theater, November 17th and 18th. Then it moves down to the Lone Tree Center for the Arts. That's November 20th, 21st and 22nd. Again, that's at 730. More dates over at WarrenMiller.com. We'll be right back.